Good morning. We are down here in sunny South Florida. Today is the uh, Saturday main of the Caribbean Classic. And then we take a quick trip out to Coil Creek to talk to Doug Vine. He's gonna show us a little bit about the fee test that he's setting out there. And we've run out here to Quail Creek. We're gonna talk to Doug Vine and we ran into Granny Sherman. Everybody knows Granny. Hi, Granny. Hey. And she and Mike, who master gunsmith. We'll be here until after the gator, so we will leave and move up to the Florida Challenge. We carry a lot of cleaning supplies, so a full-line Pila dealer, and we carry the full line of ESP electronics. We actually have a lot of new colors out. Mike, everybody knows that you're a gunsmith, but for the people that are coming down for the Gator Cup, tell them what kind of work you do. Sporting clay shot. Yeah. That's all I do. I do a lot of stock fitting and stock work adjustable combs, pads, length, all that. Do general mechanical stuff on all the normal sporting guns that we see every day. So, you know, whatever you need, we can do it. So they're right here behind the fancy cars at the gate. I'm really nervous because I don't want Fred to get mad. Fred already said he was mad at you. <laughs> he said that he was gonna kick you out of the Gator Cup because you were in the way. Yep. Doug's already forgotten he's got a microphone on. I've heard him cussing left and right. Can you hear it through yours or something? I can hear him. Oh. We're uh, on site here at Quail Creek Plantation setting up for the 2020 Gator Cup. Doug Vine with us, noted English uh, target setting I'm champion. Now. Uh, he he says that, but <laughs> one day he hopes to be an American. I have a passport. I have a paperwork. Uh, just to give you America. an idea of what's in store, if this is anything reminiscent of like the uh, 2015 World English down at South Florida Gun <laughs> Club, <laughs> he's mad. He can keep people up at night. He's a very, very accomplished target setter. He gets most people with speed and distance, not much angle. But we're really proud of having him on site, and uh, Doug's a big part of what we're doing right here. And uh, if you don't like something, see him. If you try to take it on, bring sensitive. your gun. It's be nice. He's very sensitive. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't forget, if you enjoyed the 2015 World English, you're really going to like the 2020 Gator Cup. <laughs> For the fit test, anyway. He's funny on camera. He's funny everywhere. People don't realize how funny he is. He's gigantic. He's gassy? Gigantic. <laughs> gigantic. Yes, he is large. I thought you said he was gassy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you understand that in English? A, uh, a rabbit, a rabu, and a 70 <laughs> off the tower. We're actually going to have a driven rabu. Never been, it's never been cheap before, but we're actually going to try this year. As long as we don't get a heavy north wind, everybody's shooting, it should be safe. If we get a north wind, it's going to push you. If you don't kill the target, it's going to kill you. But I think we should be Compe fight. Real competitive plays. It's really just you against the target. It's defensive, defensive play shooting is what it's going to be called in this part. Mm -hmm. well, we shouldn't be safe, but I'll be safe. This one's, all, this one's always the... Um, this is the hardest parkour, parkour for sure this year. Parkour 1 is a good parkour. It's very, very technical, but there's nothing really of any distance, really. This has got some longer bows on it. Do you have us turning around anywhere like you did in the past? No, because people get falling over and for some reason they didn't like that, so we won't do that. Well, they, they get a play. Well, they filled the barrels up with dirt. Apparently, they've got an issue. They've got a bunch of dirt around. around. <laughs> so I've been told. I've never had a problem with it. Well, I shoot a free golf, so I'm lucky. Full of driven rabu on here. Um, let's go and look at what that target's doing there. Hey, Ram, roll that, roll that over. Give it a little bit of roll. I mean, I can't even get that on video. That'd be awful. Holy shit. That's 70, the sea target. That's a hell of a target. The rabu you made for Anthony about six, seven years ago? At the regional? Mm -hmm. Nobody. Nobody on that station. No. But now, the next day was Zach and Anthony. Zach got in there. Zach was frustrated. He was throwing shells. Anthony's standing behind him with the button. Says, "Ha ha, trick you!" 
Anthony's turn. Anthony's throwing shells. <laughs> Anthony can't get it. Of course, I said, uh, tricked yourself. <laughs> if you throw it hard, it's easier to break. Correct. If you put it out there between 15 and 25 yards, give it a, a little bit of an arc, yep. but then you can't read the difference in the three speeds. It's three speeds if you really want to. Yep. Going up, when it comes off the trap, it's pretty fast. Mm -hmm. It really slows down on the top and then speed back up again. It, it, it makes you think initially when you visual when you see it it makes you makes you think of what a, a 108 is doing but it's not doing the same thing but yes that's the problem that you're trying to shoot it like a rig and stand a target and there's a totally different way of approaching that target when you see it doing that but you totally be, you want you want i always try to set it so that you really right where it peaks for you to get to it and then by the time you read it it's starting back down again. Well the problem is when you stand behind them, when you throw the target you stand back from the trap, it never really does beat. It just it's just doing that all the time and then it's on its way down. And that's what you can't read into it from a shooter's standpoint. If a standard did that, you'd know where to shoot it. But that bastard's going down a lot faster than you really can read into the target. Uh, and as a teal, <laughs> it's hard to break. Yeah. Yeah. Very hard to break as a teal. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be hard to break as a driven too. <laughs>